Good morning, good night, doctors, nurses, and pharmacists. I am Dr. Che, and today we will discuss some very important writing tips. This is a live session on Facebook. This is a free and live session on Facebook. If you want to join us, you want to ask me any questions, you need any more tips, so you can like my page. Link is given below in the comments. You can like my page. My WhatsApp number is also given if you need any kind of help. So I am here to help you. Okay, let us start without wasting your time. Let us read this. This paragraph, Mr. Smith has a history of hypertension and he is on ACE inhibitors and anticoagulant, but he was still non-compliance with his medication. He was educated about the importance of drug regimen. So anybody can point out any mistake in this first part. Anybody can point out any mistake in this first session. So you can also share the session with other doctors, nurses and pharmacists. Please point out any mistake in this first, first part, okay? Please be quick, be quick, please. Write in the chat, write in the chat, what is wrong here? So believe me, this is not, you know, taken, copied and, you know, from anywhere. This is uh, excellent, Miss Tatiana, excellent. So if we keep repeating, this is not my fault. You, you people might say that, you know, uh, you keep repeating uh, similar things again and again. This is not my fault. I, I only teach you those things that my students keep, uh, you know, uh, making these mistakes, okay? So you people need to, you know, uh, memorize these things. You people, When you write your own letters, you should not make these mistakes, okay? So be careful. So even there is sometimes repetition, but we need to be, okay? So we need to improve a lot, okay? So this non-compliance is a noun. Here it is wrong, okay? So... Just let me write here, non-compliance, non-compliance is known, and non-compliant is like adjective, okay? I'm not sure, but like, like subjective, so it describes the person, not this activity, okay? Non-compliant, like adjective, okay? I'm not sure, I you know, I'm a doctor, not a... English teacher, but anyway, I have a lot of experience, but still I'm not English teacher. Okay, so non-compliance, for example, for example, let us give example, my three Facebook groups, three Facebook groups were blocked, okay? Okay, uh, recently in the last three months. So that was due to, that was due to my and my group members non-compliance with, copyright or our trademark rules, okay? So let us say Dr. Chase three Facebook groups were blocked due to non-compliance with copyright Uh, rules okay so that is why you know i never share no any materials okay i only share my own materials so now it is non-compliance this is one sentence let us take the sentence that should be okay <clears throat> his condition deteriorated due to non-compliance with with his medication, okay, with his medication or with medication, okay. So now, now the same thing, let us write for, so the same thing, let us write for non-compliant, okay. His condition has deteriorated, okay. Better, okay, today's, okay. 
his condition has deteriorated as he was non compliant not non compliance as he was not he was non compliant with his medication okay as he was non compliant with his medication so please be careful so okay so here is the thing so be careful when you are writing your own letters you will make these mistakes believe me and the history of hypertension is on uh, uh, no dr manal that is not good let me copy let me copy your sentence so dr manal is writing that let us copy here Mr. Smith has a history of hypertension, is on AC inhibitors and taking anticoagulant. Okay. So what we can do here is, is we, we need to improve a little bit. Mr. Smith has a history of hypertension. Okay, maybe something else here. Okay. Has a history of hypertension. So just let us correct this one. Not let us forget about non-compliance. Has a history of hypertension for which he is uh, taking here is not good. Okay. Taking is this one taking is not good. Okay. Uh, has a history of hypertension uh, for which for which he takes for which he takes AC inhibitors and anticoagulants okay you will write anticoagulants plural okay both should be plural okay so for which he takes AC inhibitors and anticoagulants okay so Dr. Manal we should write like this so whenever if you people have any question you can ask me in the comments that don't worry whenever you are writing your own sentences own letters okay so if you have any question you can ask me okay so we will write non-compliant so he was educated he was educated about the importance of drug regime about importance of drug regime you know it, it is not good so the complete both sentences needs improvement he has a history of hypertension and he is on the repetition of the subject he is on far which so let me change okay complete far it should be here far which as he has a history of hypertension but he is non compliant to his ace actually we, what we want to say is you know his non compliance so uh, far which he is non compliant to his ace in inhibitors and anti far away even we don't need names of these may far away but he is non compliant with his medication okay no need to mention with his medication okay like this mr smith has a history of hypertension but he is non compliant with his medication so our meaning is complete no, it is complete and easy to understand. Okay. He was educated. So he was educated about importance of drug regimen. This is not good. Okay. Not good. This complete needs improvement. Okay. So we should make it yellow. So he was educated about the importance of, uh, uh, he was educated about the importance of, let us add here adherence to drug regime no it is okay he was educated about the importance of adherence to drug regime so this can be a good option 
so what we have learned just quickly just quickly what we have learned is please always always keep in mind that we should know the difference between non compliance and non compliant and don't write such a long information if you can write this the same thing in a very concise way what you want to communicate is the non compliance right but he is non compliant with his medication so you don't need to write all the details here so in this sentence we should write you know uh, about the importance of adherence to his drug regime so uh, this is the way we need to write okay so this is a live and free session on facebook and if you people those people who will watch us on youtube if you want to join us for free classes just link to my facebook page is given below like my page follow my page and you will get notifications when i go online usually i go online on daily basis so my whatsapp number is also given if you need any kind of help thank you so much so now let us move to the next video but let us stop this one